So here's the video of the first time I ever took my sunfish sailing. Um, as you can see, it's uh, not exactly smooth sailing, but uh, hopefully this will uh, provide a little bit of context uh, as to where things went wrong. So just to start at, with, as you can see, that uh, dagger board probably shouldn't be in there at this point. I forgot it was in there, and so when I try to remove my dolly, uh, it doesn't come out, and I'm perplexed as to why. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the dagger board is keeping it from uh, keeping me from being able to pull the dolly free uh, forward. So, uh, of course, perplexed by what's going on, I decide to just kind of pull it out from the side there. My dad up there is of no use uh, telling me that that's what was keeping that, but you know. This is his first time even seeing my boat, so don't expect him to know that. Probably shouldn't have started with the dagger board in like that, but live and learn. Alright, so I'm, I kind of noticed what went wrong, and I'm removing that now. And there you go. Alright, so thankfully my dad was there that day to kind of lend a hand. There was a family event going on at this park where there was a lake. So I decided to uh, take advantage of the situation, and there's me and my uh, expert bowling skills. <laughs> Just getting ready to tie that off, get the boat into position. The morning started off kind of rough. Uh, the lock I had on my trailer, I was unable to locate the keys for it, so I ended up having to take the... Uh, angle grinder and take it off that way, so that was kind of a omen for things to come. Yeah, at this point I'm just trying to get the thing, you know, sort of parallel with the dock, but it was kind of a struggle, so I took my trailer back. Now at this point I kind of tie the boat off halfway down the dock. I kind of wish I'd taken it all the way down, as, you know, you'll see why in a moment. So here I am uh, situating my dolly back onto my trailer. My dad's kind of keep an eye on the boat while I go. So I'm getting ready to launch here. He's kind of helping out. And tie the boat. Now he asks if I want that rope. I probably should have said yes, but I told him to hang on to it for me. And uh, later on it probably would have served me when I came into dock, but that's okay. And so here I am setting off. And I mean, I'm even struggling with my hat at this point. So, you know, <laughs> everything is a struggle. <laughs> So it's at this point that I realize that my uh, rudder isn't down, and that I actually need to get it down into the water. So here I am struggling with that. Meanwhile, my boat is kind of drifting off on its own, and uh, I notice that the other dock is coming into quick view here, and I'm quite certain I'm going to hit it, and so to avoid damage, I kind of push off on it, which, as you can see, kind of points my boat in a precarious position heading towards this rock wall. And so at this point, I'm in full panic mode. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to figure out how do I get this away from the rock. So here I am turning, trying to turn, but I'm not even using the tiller correctly. I'm just in full panic mode at this point. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know how to turn. Uh, and so, of course, I hit the rock wall. Now, at this point, I'm assuming that I'm just ripping gouges into the side of the boat that it's filling with water. So I grabbed the uh, the paddle there. Luckily, I had that, and of course, uh, that was you know collapsing on me as I was pushing off. And so I'm trying to get away from the rock wall there as best I can. And so I figure at this point, well, I better start paddling. Maybe I can paddle away from it. But of course, my <laughs> my rudder there doing its own thing. I don't know how you're supposed to paddle and operate the rudder at the same time because you need two hands to paddle. <laughs> And uh, seems like you almost need three arms, three hands to uh, to sail one of these things, or at least get off the dock. So here I am hitting the rock wall again. And it, I am just dying on the inside. I'm just, it's killing me. I'm thinking I'm ripping up my bow. I put so much work and time into this, and here I am. I'm not even out of the dock, away from the docks, and uh, I'm already <laughs> sinking my bow. Uh, so again, trying to use this paddle, trying to keep away from the rocks. Again, the whole time my paddle is like collapsing in my hands. And I'm trying to operate the rudder and the sails, just trying anything to get away from these damn rocks. And here I go again. This time I give up on the paddle and I just start pushing off with my hands. 
you can't hear it here, but the guy in the boat is like, you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. It was a lie, but... Um, so anyway, finally, I get past the rock wall. And I'm doing something that sort of... simulates sailing. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, you know, this, this is all very new to me, so... I'm looking at the Telltales a lot. They're just not moving at all. The sail doesn't seem to be catching much wind. And, you know, the forecast called for five to eight knots that day, which isn't a lot. But, uh, I mean, there were points here where the wind was just 100% dead. Anyway, I figure I better get my dagger board in there, so I do that. And... Rudder's just driving me crazy. I'm trying to figure out what, you know, what's the deal with this. So I get into a situation where I'm at least set up correctly. So I'm at least kind of holding it correctly here. You know, while I try to figure out what's going on. Now the sail has me perplexed. It's kind of hanging out in the middle there. And every time I push it away, it just keeps coming back towards me. <clears throat> and I'm not sure why, so I figure, okay, maybe I'm on the wrong side of the boat. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side and push the sail out, hoping it'll catch wind and fill out that way. But it doesn't, it just moves back to the center again. Now, you might think I'm in irons or something along those lines, but I'm actually not. The wind was coming from a south-southwest direction, and right now I'm facing kind of a northern direction. Um... So yeah, so I am I am perplexed. I am not entirely sure why the sail isn't filling with wind and why I'm not at this point taking off. I'm kind of just sitting still. <laughs> there I am, probably swearing up a storm. In sheer and utter confusion. Again, holding the tiller completely incorrect. So wake from another boat, and the sail's just kind of flapping around. I think at this point I just wasn't getting any wind. I don't know 100% sure, uh, but, you know, uh, I'm kind of getting the, the feeling that there just wasn't enough wind to really do anything here. But, you know, I'm kind of pushing the sail away, hoping it fills with air and kind of takes off, but just slowly inches its way back towards me. It's at this point when I start trying to use the uh, rudder to kind of paddle my way into a different direction, thinking that maybe if I, if the boat were, uh, if the wind were moving over the boat in a different direction, that uh, that maybe I could catch some wind, maybe I could close haul it. So far, not too much fun to be had here. Pushing it away, pushing it away. And again, I'm uh, kind of paddling there with the rudder. Thinking maybe if I point the boat in a different direction, my luck may change. And here we go again, another <laughs> confused tack or jibe. Probably closer to a jibe since uh, the, uh, the wind's coming over the back of the boat there. The bow, or the stern, I should say. At this point, the sail kind of stays in a position, so I'm thinking I might have hit onto something here. And again, this whole time I'm watching my telltales and they're just doing nothing. They're just limp, no matter where. But I'm starting to move, I'm starting to pick up a little speed. I'm I start to pick up steering. And of course, I have to worry about all these other boats and kayaks and other things going on in the lake. They actually rent sunfish right at this lake, and I had no idea. And I probably, uh, had I known, would have rented one of their boats so I could have run one of their boats into the rocks. But, uh, maybe at the loss of a deposit, but that's alright. But yeah. So at this point, I'm starting to pick up some, uh, speed here. Now 
this is where things really start to pick up and I really start enjoying myself out there. It's starting to really pick up some speed, my telltales are starting to uh, flutter a bit, so I'm at least getting some sort of response from it. Uh, unfortunately my GoPro dies later on, but uh, you know, later in the, the sail here uh, I start to get the hang of things. I'm able to go faster, the boat even uh, you know, heals a bit. Yeah, it gets pretty exhilarating. I, I had a lot of fun at that point. Um, I tried getting the inspection port that's on the inside of the cockpit there off so I could see if I was taking on water. Because, uh, like I said, after hitting those rocks and just generally not knowing the boat, uh, for all I knew, you know, it was going to take on water as soon as I got it in. And so I was curious as to whether or not I was you know, picking up some water. Uh, but I couldn't get the actual cap off, especially with the uh, the sheet in one hand, the tiller in the other, and I just didn't want to let go of either, really, um, at that point. So you'll see me reach down at some point trying to get that cap off, and I just couldn't. But anyway, I was starting to go, you know, pretty fast here. And uh, like I was saying before, it's a shame my GoPro died, because later in the day I actually got pretty good at tacking and all that stuff. So it would have been cool to show kind of how I improved as things went, but... Unfortunately, uh, the GoPro died after about an hour and a half. Uh, Daggerboard, I'm still somewhat perplexed by. It kind of just falls down, doesn't really stay up. I probably need to get that bungee cord set up that everybody uses, but I just wasn't ready for it, so I'll order those parts and uh, get that set up. So, But as you can see, I'm at least moving here. A decent clip. Uh... Figured I would head up this way and, uh, you know, kind of tack my way up. Uh, practice my tack a few times, uh, which you will see in a minute, which is going to be pretty laughable. Um, you know, the concept, it, you know, I, I got the concept, you know, I, I did e sail and all that stuff, so I get, I get the concept. Um, I just didn't have the feeling for it, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Alright, so here's the point where I'm about to attempt my first tack, and uh, it's uh, it's embarrassing to say the least. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I decided to move before I even turn the rudder. And uh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> mistakes were made uh, for sure. So, <laughs> but that's how you learn, right? <laughs> just it's uh. Yeah, and, and you know, I knew this was wrong, and yet, and yet I did it. <laughs> and this is why I'm kind of thankful that the winds weren't too strong that day, because if that wind had been a little bit stronger, I probably would have ended up in the water. But, uh, so it was very forgiving in some aspects, and, uh, made things a little difficult in other aspects. But there you go, so that was my first tack. Obviously a terrible one, and like I said later on in the, uh, the outing here, I got much better at it, where it was a lot smoother, and uh, it's still not perfect, I still got some work to do on it, but uh, it was progress of a sort, I guess. But, yeah. So yeah, as the day went on, I got a lot better at it, even picked up some speed, the wind got a little more constant, and it was a lot more fun. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to getting the boat out again and uh, giving it another go. So yeah, uh, I really wish I'd gotten uh, you know my, my docking uh, procedure coming in on video because I actually did way better than I thought. I thought for sure I was going to hit the rock wall again, but I didn't. I did bang into the dock a little bit, but I hit a... Uh, added part so it was uh, no worse for the wear 
uh, inspecting my boat after the fact, there are definitely some uh, additional war wounds to the bottom of the boat, but nothing catastrophic. And uh, when I checked the inspection port, it was actually, you know, as aside from being a little humid, it was uh, not full of water. So that's good. Not bad for a $100 boat. Can't go wrong. All right. Thanks to everybody who stuck with us for so long, and hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. Thank you.